and it is very sensitive so it's, it will go very very slow. So we have to do it three times. We prepared these solar cells.今天刚好有机会来带大家看一下光电元件物理以及光谱学实验室 Could you show us the plasma clean process? I have already put my samples inside. You can see some samples. We have given some oxygen through a cylinder over there. I will start the generator and it will start generating the oxygen. Oh. And I can adjust the oxygen plasma value from here. And it is very sensitive so it's, it will go very very slow. This way I will adjust the maximum well, uh, maximum light intensity and I can wait maybe 5 minutes or 10 minutes and then switch it off. How long we need to do for this fast marking? Usually we in our lab we have just bought this so we use 5 minutes but we uh, some students they are working on the timings because if we use this for longer time it can etch our uh, substrate. So we are working on this and maybe in future we will find what time is good time. Okay, I know. So let's finish the process. Yes. Okay, thank you. So let's finish the process. 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 And we use this machine to fabricate perovskite solar cells. And we use this machine because of you can see the concentration of H2O and O2. It's in parts per million. So we need very, very less concentration of H2O and O2 in yeah. our fab fabrication. So, and when we load our samples or our chemicals, so we have to put here and we have to use this antechamber. Yeah. So, okay. We can put here and now because we are taking something from out and we are putting it inside inside yes. so we have to vacuum it three times so the concentration of h2o or moisture will be reduced so we have to do it three times So this is something like a dilute process? Yeah, because we don't want any moisture, H2O, O2 content inside our machine. Okay. Because it can affect our fabrication process. So this is first so it and now... three it's, times? Yeah, three times. We can do more than three times, it's also okay. Yeah. But <laughs> at least minimum three times. And now, after this, we can open the antechamber from inside. So, we have to use these gloves. Now, if we want to fabricate our samples, yeah. so we can close this one first. It will be in vacuum state, so it means it is closed. Yes. And we can close the circulator and analyzer. And then we can 
uh, fabricate our samples. So, do you want to see how we fabricate our samples? Yeah, show us. Okay, so. So, now we are starting to use the material processing part of the material processing. This high energy system is mainly used to coating the material processing to make the coating material coating. 基板上面这边的话就会有 Vital 来看一下，说到底是如何把半导体薄膜并到基板上面。呃、uh, ，For here to fabricate our samples, we have、uh, these are the stirrer machine, magnetic stirrer machines with hot plate. So, like here, you can see I have some perovskite samples. So, to make these perovskite solutions, we use these magnetic stirrer. Oh. So you can mm. you can see. Okay. And here, uh, this is hot plate to anneal our perovskite thin films. Uh, after the fabrication, we use this hot plate. And here, this is a spin coater uh, because we use spin coating process for the fabrication of perovskite thin film. Or the all most of the layer we fabricate by using spin coater or perovskite solar cells. So uh, this is um, yeah. my perovskite solution. So, I'm going to use this one. Auto pipe. Uh, the pipette. Okay. And we have to wear gloves also for this. This, this scale we use to maintain particular distance between our sample and the solution we use. I have some samples so I can show you how we fabricate. So this is a P3CT film uh, on ITO glass. ITO glass, yeah? Yeah, ITO glass. We use ITO glass as a substrate. Just is ITO And like I dropped here. And now we have to move it to the hot plate and we can cover it. Heating process? Yeah, heating process. How long need to heat? For each sample, usually we use 10 minutes. So after heating, the sample is ready for the... Next, uh, this is in our perovskite, we have different layers. Like we yeah. use coal transport layer, uh, active layer and electron transport layer. This is the second layer. This is active layer. So after this, we have to use electron transport layer. Okay. And after that, we have another uh, treatment for our acti uh, electron transport layer. And after that, we will put our samples to this chamber for silver evaporation to uh, get 100 nanometer thin film of silver on our samples for electrode. How many layers we need to do later? Is this is the last one? Or? No, no, no. This one is the second one. Okay. But maybe I can show you the next step that uh, how we put our samples okay. there. So totally we need four layers or five layers? Uh, it's uh, the first layer is HDL. Uh, we coat outside and then we have perovskite layer and then we have ETL layer and then we have another electron modifying layer, yeah. so four layers. Okay. And after that, we have to etch our samples uh, and then we have to put our samples in the vacuum chamber for the fabrication of silver thin film. Show me the last step. So the last step is
we have to use now these gloves because we are going to put our samples in the vacuum chamber. 基本上它整个薄膜层的话，这样看起来大概总共需要四到五层的薄膜层。在整个薄膜层都靠这种旋转涂布法制作完成之后呢，它就需要把 sample 揉进去电极蒸度的腔体做最后一道。的制成就是电极蒸度的部分。那我们现在就请他来带我们看一下，说他是如何去把它揉进去的。呃、uh, ，we use this this mask for our samples so that we will have silver thin film only on here. So,、uh, and we put our samples. We will put our samples inside this mask, and then we will transfer it to there. So we use this rod, and we can like this, and then we have to transfer it、oh, from here to there. We need to carefully. <laughs> yeah, very careful.、Yes. And if we will drop our sample, if we are unlucky, then maybe we can drop our sample. Yeah. So after. That we have to wait maybe more than 40 minutes、yes. to take out sample、oh. and start again. So carefully. Yeah. 好，所以他就现在就把刚刚配置好的薄膜层，把它揉进去蒸度机里面。等一下做金属电极的部分的蒸度。So this is how we transfer our samples from glove box to vacuum thermal evaporator. Okay. Thank you. Could you show us the how the how it process for the? So now I put my I already transferred my samples from here to vacuum thermal evaporator. So I have to close this window. We use vacuum thermal evaporator because、uh, we can achieve pressure lower than no pressure higher than 10 to power minus six higher or lower. Sorry, I got confused. After the chamber is ready, we will start to process the metal layer. Yeah,、uh, before that we have to close this one. This、okay. STL2 is shutter for our samples, and this one is the shutter for our silver. So we have already placed.、Uh, we have to wait maybe 20 minutes to achieve the vacuum about 10 to power minus six. So we can auto to pump down, and now we have to wait at least 20 minutes. So after the chamber ready, we will heat in the yeah the we、source. will yeah we will open this one the shutter、yeah. for silver thin film, and then we can open our this ETH two the、yeah. here、uh, we will give power and we already put、uh, our silver beads on the tungsten plate, so the silver will start melt melting or evaporation, and then our sample is here. Yes. And silver is here. Yes. So it will evaporate to here. 基本上做时候会放在下面做蒸度的动作。等到它整个腔体的真空度到一个水准之后啊，它就会在这边做蒸度，然后把金属元做加热。加热到一个程度之后，它就会把上下的 shelter 都打开，那就开始开始做金属蒸度的动作了。那我们就非常谢谢这边做的解说。Thank you. You're welcome. 这刚刚整个。半导体的太阳能电池啊，配置完成之后，它已经变成一个完整的太阳能电池元件了。这元件做完之后呢，我们就准备要对它进行一些光电特性的量测工作。那我们就请我们博士生来为我们秀一下，说这到底我们会做哪一些量测工作呢 ？Today I have this solar cell.、Uh, we prepared these solar cells. These are inverted type perovskite based solar cells, and I will measure the Photovoltaic performance of this cell using this whole system. So it has four cells. It's one, two, three, four. So this is the solar cell device. Yes. This is the this one. Yes. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building. That solar cell device. So we are just this. This is the one that we just finished building.
short circuit current density this is fill factor here it's around 70 or 60 so it's quite low because it has a lot of defect maybe surface defects because these samples are very old you can also see the PCE is around 16% so in our lab we have uh, reached maybe 19 or 18% these days and here you can see the shunt and series resistance values using these values we can evaluate our solar cells Oh, thank 好那我们这一站呢会带大家来看一下在半导体薄膜被制完成之后啊我们如何利用光质激光的这种反应啊来量测半导体薄膜的特性哦那其实它主要就是会有一些特定的镭射光源像这个可能是五三二镭射我们会